Hey guys, uh, it's, yeah, it's another story time. <coughs> it's about some uh, ghost or demon, but he look human enough. That guy glaring at me. I'm sorry, because I'm not a good, very good storyteller. But let's begin with the history first. Um, when did it happen? I was in high school and sixth class actually. I was a near admission in the school. I'm not gonna say the name. Because I don't know about the privacy and all of that, but uh, my classmate must know if they're watching this video. So I was in sixth class at the time. After I got used to the school, there was this uh, two ways entry, one uh, for private, and there was two roads uh, beside the school. One mostly pri where private people come from, and the other was from where the vans go out from. Vans were like buses, the school bus. So what happened there was. Um, in the school uh, school buses road, uh, which is a street, my brother used to come there after the school bus goes uh, out because of the traffic in the private route. So he always took the, the school bus road because the road is empty there. So in the school bus road, there were some bangalows and all that. But beside that, there was a barrier and behind the barrier or, yeah, behind the barrier, like that gate, you know, Behind the barrier, there was some uh, a lot of garbage there, and we already know it's quite cliche, and it is actually true that evil spirits tend to stay in a you know dirty places. And uh, of course, sorry for recording so uh, late. Uh, it's actually 3 p.m. and it's raining right now, <laughs> and I'm using generator to use a computer actually. So what happened there was uh, actually at that time Sting was uh, new. It was like invented or something. So yeah, because it's related to the story actually. I know I shouldn't have talked about something pointless, but let's just say it's just my mentality and all that. So it was like, uh, after, of course, uh, it was after school. It was in um, departure time where we have to go home and all that. I was waiting in the road and uh, in the bus road because my brother always comes there and I didn't have mobile at the time because I was near mission and all that, I didn't use the private road and all that because I always used to go back home in my previous school I always used to go back home but on foot so that's why I didn't have mobile at that time and I was quite young so uh, in the garbage when my brother came he, uh, his car, he was using Maran right he came in the uh, street and uh, he actually said to, to me that I should wait because he needs to take out his car. When he reversed the car and took it out. Uh, so what happened that when he came, uh, when he took his car out in the main road, I saw some like 8 to 10 feet tall man, man with a burnt face. If I remember correctly, I could only see his like uh, towards his I couldn't see his foot, so I don't know what he was. Maybe his, uh, he was butt naked, and when it comes to his foot, maybe he wasn't very sure. I don't care. But I saw some like eight to ten feet, or maybe more, feet tall guy. That was really big, uh, tall guy. If you ask me, though, his face was burned, his eyes were red, and he was glaring at me like I did something bad. Of course, I was, no pun intended, no rhythm intended. Actually, he was. Uh, like staring at me, he did not like me or something like I did something to him in the past or and all that. But uh, yeah, if I remember uh, correctly, his clothes were like a uh, raincoat and a uh, fedora type hat. Like uh, he's he was like a jeepers creepers creature. Yeah, I'll show you uh, as you can see in the image. He was like a jeeper uh, creeper villain, but no, no, no. His face was definitely human, but it was burned and burned to ashes because his face was a lot blacker and uh, his clothes were a little burned too and uh, my brother just uh, used his horn because he saw me quite uh, stunned if you know what I mean I can't use the words quite correctly like I said I'm not a good storyteller I was quite uh, stunned there and I was star not staring back at him, like I was curious what is he so angry about that he's glaring at me like that. So my brother called out to me, he was like, what are you doing? Why are you just standing there in the sunlight? <laughs> it, it was summer, so sun is not definitely good for health. He, I stared back, I listened to my brother, when I looked back, he was gone. 
the big guy. He was like gone. I was like, I got more curious. But how can that big guy just be gone like that? Because uh, since he's really tall, of course we can hear footsteps of him walking, right? But when I stayed back, I mean, there was no one. There's just garbage again. So yeah, when I went uh, home back with my brother, uh, you wouldn't believe it, but definitely right when I entered my house, I started feeling fever. And that fever was 104 degrees Celsius. That's a really high temperature for you if you ask me. So yeah, from that day on, I was quite scared of going to that place again. Because I feel like that guy, but before that, when I met home, I was drinking Sting, right? I thought it was the cause of drinking energy drink right in the sunlight and summer and all that because my body was quite out and I was drinking a cold energy drink, which is a fake energy drink. Don't drink Sting, okay? Try Red Bull or Monster Energy, the real ones. So when I went home, I had like a 104 degrees Celsius temperature. I know my mother was trying to fake it. But that definitely wasn't the case. That was not a normal fever. That was caused by that guy who was staring at me. Maybe. That's just my mentality. I'm not too sure. And this story is not really that interesting. I'm so sorry for that. I'm not possessed by that guy. But I really, I really was curious the, why he was glaring at me. Maybe he was burned to ashes on that place. Or maybe he was just random uh, evil spirit. Just... Uh, that garbage place was a territory. It was just like mini garbage, but there's no garbage anymore in that place. Actually, there that place has been cleaned, and we even walked to that place where he was standing and staring at me. So yeah, I think it was some uh, evil spirit who was uh, like staying at the garbage place. Of course, this doesn't end there. Uh, actually, I didn't even tell any of my friends about this, but my friend telling me that his, his cousin lives in the Bangalore right there. The guy who the big guy we just saw there, the evil spirit. We actually, uh, his cousin, my friend's cousin, my classmate, his cousin uh, actually, he lives in the Bangalore right beside where was the guy was standing, right? And he said that in the night time they, they were having a party and uh, after he phoned it all there, they had a blackout, of course. Blackout is very famous in Pakistan and India. So it was quite pitch black darkness. In the roof, they left some plate with some bones in it, right? And of course, they don't have a dog who will eat the bone. My his my classmate and his cousin and all the it was a group of friends. They were talking to each other. They heard a word uh, like crunchy, crunch, crunch. Like someone was eating cr something crunchy, crunch, crunch, and all that. He, they heard the voice when the light came back on uh, the place uh, which had bone in it, there were no bones and they got scared shitless and they just ran away from there he said that was quite a scary for him of course but that's not really interesting story nor is my uh, nor is mine interesting story or maybe it was interesting I just couldn't tell it in a really good way in a dramatic way if you know what I mean but I have my reason for speaking English actually <laughs> The channels, like I said, is international. I have some subscribers. Mostly of them, most of them are like from outside of Pakistan and India, so they can't understand Urdu. I tried speaking Urdu, but I can't speak Urdu, like I said. Even if, uh, because back in the day, I tried to use Urdu. I lost like 10 to 15 subscribers right in the beginning. I just gained them back when I'm speaking English. So yeah, I have my reason for that. I'm so sorry if it sounds boring to you, but I had to share this experience actually. Like I said, it was some really big guy, 10 to 12 feet, 8 to 10 feet, I don't know, he was really tall, even taller than this, uh, taller than this door. He was like, uh, there, at that spot, he was really tall actually, like a slender man or something and all that. So, yeah, that's it for my story time. Of course, I'm gonna make a video of Valorant as well, I'm playing Valorant. Uh, I'll, when I play Valorant, I'll, when I make a video of Valorant, I'll give you my idea as well, so you can we can play it together as well. So yeah, that's it for today's review, uh, video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video for today. Make sure to like button, subscribe for more videos, and hit the bell for, button for notifications. And uh, uh, check out my Twitch channel to see which games I play in my free time. And of course, you can request me for all the playthrough of a game. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.